Well, it's great for them. They did, a, um, they did everything I asked and uh, more. And um, the players' leadership committee uh, asked me to look at it again, and so I did. Um, but obviously, in the in the special teams, catching the punts and kickoffs and stuff, that's where those guys we didn't have them last week, and um, so they'll be they'll be involved in it. More. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. It might even. We'll see. They don't punt a lot. It might not be <laughs> that big a factor. Feels good coming back for Houston game. That's a big rival game, conference game. No, it don't matter. Even if it's blocking, if I have to, it's for the team. I got to win this game. Yeah, a whole lot more. Well, I was at a bridge where I could be back at my hometown doing nothing. It feels great, you know. I kind of felt like I left my team down last week. That's something I did not intend to do. But I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and give it my all this week. Deserve it, my team, coaches, and it just feels good to be back. I love it. It's always been my number one thing in my life. And it just hurt because, like I said earlier, I felt like I left my team down, not just my team, my family, and myself down. I mean, I ain't going to sit there and say that it was just bad because they took care of business. You know, it was just I felt I let them down, but they took care of business, and we got that win last week. But like I said, it just sucked not being there helping them out. It felt good, you know, glad I was just had to shut out one game. And it's, like I said, it's just good to be back, and I'm happy because I'm here to help my team win. A lot, lot more. For the first time in my life, I had football taken away from me. It was the worst, it was the worst for a little bit, but now it's back, back to normal. Coach Johnson came out and told me that they throw a lot. This game was one of the biggest games I came because last year they threw it like 77 times against UTEP. So it's just more opportunities for me to make plays. That's getting better. But I can say right now it's getting better. It's pretty good. I mean, I can run now, so it's pretty good I can play this weekend. But if not, I mean, still got Vern and uh, Banner, and they did a great job this weekend. So real confident going in the game with them two guys, too. Yeah, hopefully I can get out of tomorrow, run around a little bit, do some drills, and uh, no contact, but hopefully getting all the drills. I, mean, I knew they were a great running back, so just, they just had to get out there and prove to the rest of the uh, nation that could do it. Uh, you can tell in practice they're a great running back, so they probably got an opportunity and they did well. Yeah, I mean, I waited all summer for it, but, I mean, just another game. If we win it, it would be great. If we lose, I mean, we just got to move on, so just another game in our, in our eyes. We were going in uh, the underdog, probably going in underdog again, so um, we had another chance to prove everybody wrong. Yeah, uh, I kind of broke away on uh, that game, and prove to the coaches that I could uh, block and run and just have the job to myself. I don't play against Case Kim. I play against the Houston team. So, um, you know, our defense, it's their job to shut shut him down and shut their offense down. And, um, you know, my job is to head up our offense and put ourselves in the best position we can to be successful. Um, score one more point than the opposing team so we can win. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of fun, a lot of exposure for our, um, you know, not only for our team, but uh, for UTEP in general, um, putting our name out there for the country to see. Um, I think it's the last game played on Friday night, so everyone in the nation is going to be watching it. It's going to be a really fun and exciting game, and um, it just gives everyone and, you know, just a little bit more hype going into the game, knowing that there's going to be so many people watching. Um, this For this season's uh, start of uh, Conference USA for us, our, it's our first game in conference, and it's definitely... Um, you know, one of the big name teams in our conference each year. So uh, if we can come out with a win in this one, then it'll be a really good start in the conference. We're going to just do our best to, you know, stay in our coverages and just keep our, keep everyone in front of us because they got a good quarterback in Case Keenum. And he has good receivers. He has Tyron Carrier, Cleveland. He has a good running back, Bill, back there. So, you know, we got to respect the run. So we got to make sure, like I said, stay keep him in front of us and tackle him. Hopefully we'll get three and outs. <sighs> Come out with a win. Yes, sir. I mean, this is Conference USA. Offense, you know, dominates this uh, conference. And to be a defense, you know, gives us great hairs, try to stop people like Case Keenum. So, I mean, we look forward to, you know, trying to trying to put some type of brakes on him. He's a good quarterback, and we're going to respect him. Yes, sir. I mean, what other big game isn't fun? We had a big game, you know, week one with Pine Bluff. And, you know, that's how we, our team mentality is. You know, every game is going to be a big game. So we're looking at this, you know, it's a big game, just like we did last week, and we're going to come out here excited as a defense, excited as an offense, excited as a team, all phases of the game. You know.
respect these players, though. So we got to come out here and put the work in right now. Shane, two steps, two steps, down. 